This is Dear Derm by Beauty Geek for Well and Good, and I'm Dr. Mona Gohara, a dermatologist in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm here to answer your most pressing questions about skincare, so send them my way. Ninety percent of the signs of aging, ninety percent, everybody repeat after me, ninety percent come from unprotected ultraviolet exposure. That means that you pretty much can prevent aging. So if skin cancer is not enough motivation, that should be. So as many of you know, there are two types of SPF products. Those that use chemical filters and those that use physical filters. This is a chemical sunscreen. This is a physical sunscreen. Chemical, physical. So if you see a fancy word like avabenzone, oxybenzone, octanoxate, octocrylene, homosalate, octisalate on the back of your bottle, you've clearly got a chemical filter. And these work by being absorbed into the skin. The quicker way to know you've got a chemical filter is that they have that token sunscreen scent, that kind of pina colada you scent, the second you apply them on your skin. On the other hand, if you see zinc oxide or titanium dioxide on your bottle, you've got a mineral filter. These work by forming a physical barrier on the skin that bounces the sun rays so they're never even absorbed within your complexion. Sounds pretty good, right? They are, but some can leave that white chalky residue that you probably associate with that lifeguard white strip down the nose. That being said, there are more cosmetically elegant formulas that won't leave you looking like a ghost. I personally like Super Goop Zinc Screen. It's great because even with my brown skin, you can rub it in and it doesn't leave a white chalky cast. Just remember that everyone, regardless of skin color, needs to wear sunscreen. And certainly if you want the best of both worlds, there are a lot of products that have both chemical filters and physical blockers. So there's definitely something for everybody. If you have acne, I generally recommend to my patients that they use a chemical filter because they just overall are less greasy, more cosmetically elegant, less goopy. On the other hand, if you have rosacea, eczema, or sensitive skin, definitely choose the mineral filter. They're just overall more likely to not be irritating. Physical sunscreens block out all kinds of light, like it's not just ultraviolet light. It's the lights that are shining on me right now to do this video. <laughs> it's visible light bulbs, it's our computer screens, it's our phones, and so that's a definitive benefit to physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens generally have the benefit of being a little bit more cosmetically elegant, but they both have their place in the market and in your life. Whether you're using a chemical or zinc sunscreen, there's one takeaway that's most important from a derm's perspective. Look for a broad spectrum SPF of 30 or higher. Those are the key words that a label needs to say so that you know you are absolutely protected if you apply every 90 minutes. Kiss the kula. No, you can't add up SPFs for more protection. That's just not how the numbers work. Let's keep it simple. SPF 30 blocks out about 95% of the rays when applied every 90 minutes. SPF 50 blocks out about 97%, and SPF 100 blocks out 99%. Remember, this only works if you're applying the right amount within the right amount of time. Here are some things that I tell all of my patients. First of all, I think that sunscreen is misnamed. It should really be called ultraviolet screen because ultraviolet light is around us all the time, but you can only see sun, certainly where I live, from the months of, I don't know, May through September. But if you can see your hand in front of your face, you should be wearing sunscreen every single day, rain or shine. Also remember, if you have brown skin like me, you still need to use sunscreen. Brown skin can be sun damaged and we can even get skin cancer. And when we do get skin cancer, it's more deadly. So remember, everyone, regardless of skin color, should be wearing sunscreen 365. I also tell my patients that you can't take the Tinder approach to sunscreen. Don't pick the one that smells good or looks good or you just kind of like the way it's packaged because that relationship, I promise you, is not gonna last. Take time to get to know the product. Make sure it fits into your lifestyle because those are the products that you will use every day and it will become a beautiful, long-lasting relationship. If it's a cream, if it's a lotion, if it's a mousse, if it's a powder, doesn't matter what it is. You could use one of these or all of these as long as you just use them every single day. Beauty myth number 1,110. Base tans are total BS. You do not need a base tan. Tans are bad. 
They are your body's reaction to sun damage. Remember that please, and don't go into your dermatologist's office and tell them, but I had to because I was going to Mexico. Tanning booths are basically cancer boxes. Going into a tanning booth emits about 12 times, 12 times the ultraviolet light that you would get from outdoor exposure. Thanks for watching Dear Derm by Beauty Geek. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm your girl, I'm here to answer all of them. I love you sunscreen. <laughs>